The summer, she just that girl. And this year, we're having a rich woman's summer. Whilst everybody else is on a mental vacation, right? It's the perfect time to actually start planting your seeds. Even though I'm not opposed to going on like a date or two during the summer, also having a healed woman's summer. She's giving a rich woman, she's giving style, she's giving everything that she needs to give, okay? Hey lovelies, and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video if you can't already tell okay because summer she's just that girl and this year we have a rich woman's summer okay um, I'm currently in Kenya at the moment if you follow me on Instagram then you already know that I came here with YouTube Black I'm having the best time you guys I've been to the National Park to the Giraffe Centre and just done so many other activities the first time I've actually seen animals in real life which is a bit crazy given the fact that I'm originally from Africa you would think that at this big age i would have seen animals already i haven't even been to the zoo that's how bad it is so i'm super grateful that i've had the opportunity to experience this amazing country with youtube black so i thought that since i'm in africa hot weather it will be a perfect time to film a how to glow up for the summer be that woman and be the best version of yourself in the summer season if you are new my name is lorraine and my channel is lori lux and i like to call myself your self-care soul sister so subscribe to the channel sis and join our soft living space my summers are usually quite the same okay i know exactly what i'm going to be doing i'm quite like um structured i like to know what i'm doing when i'm doing it um so i thought this year like let's just step outside the box a little bit let's just stretch my imagination and level up a little bit so one of the first things that i've been doing is within my wardrobe i'm usually like a neutral kind of babe i love my beiges my creams and pastel colors um but i thought i really want to be a bit vibrant okay because that's what summer is about like it's just it just boosts your your mood you just feel your best during summer like seasonal depression is a thing okay so i thought you know what let's step outside our comfort zone so you can even tell with what i'm wearing today i love this dress like orange i would never usually go for orange i have been wearing a lot of print so even though i've been maintaining like my personal style a little bit in terms of like close up flat on my body i have been trying out like new colors um new prints like different styles and also shopping at like different places because again i am a creature of habit i tend to shop in the same kind of places i tend to dress the same and wear the same kind of clothes so i've been using my instagram and my pinterest to be inspired to find new places to shop and this trip was the perfect opportunity for me because um i wanted to like buy new stuff for the trip so i found quite a few like black owned brands and like boutiques which i would have never known about if i didn't actually step outside of my comfort zone and stop shopping in the same kind of places and i'm so happy i did that because i just feel like i was slaying this whole trip okay my looks i might put like a montage of like my looks and stuff here they've been given okay 12 out of 10 you can argue with your mans okay and that's because i was just challenged myself to step outside of my comfort zone if you have a certain style but you've always admired other styles on other people try it out you're either gonna like it or you're not gonna like it but you won't know and you might end up looking the best that you ever felt like i feel like my style is evolving like i just feel more classy more grown she's giving a rich woman she's giving style she's giving everything that she needs to give okay it's so cliche to say i've said it a thousand times but if you look good it will 100 have an impact on your emotional state and how you're feeling and your productivity and everything else that you're doing sorry guys my battery died so hopefully the angle hasn't changed too much anyway we're also having a healed woman's summer so even though i'm not looking for a man or to be in a relationship i'm not like completely opposed to the idea however i have done a lot of work and i'm still doing a lot of work 
to be in the place that I am today, for me to go back to my old habits, my old patterns and my old mindset. So for me, being healed or healing is having and maintaining high standards when it comes to dating, especially as a single mother. I'm actually gonna do a, a whole separate video on like dating as a single parent. Let me know if you guys would like to see that video. But I've been seeing a lot of conversation about how single mothers especially should lower their expectations Expectations, right because fact you know you are from the male perspective considered to be like the lower in the dating pool okay because you have baggage that's a fact that doesn't really like offend me because somebody who sees me or in my baby's baggage isn't really my person like everyone has preferences everyone has you know requirements and all that kind of stuff so it doesn't really bother me per se what does bother me however is the idea that we should lower expectations when it comes to the kind of men that we want well actually as a single parent my standards are actually even higher and not just for myself because i know what i want i know the kind of person that i am right now i want someone with the same values mindset and you know all that good stuff right but also for my daughter not only because i want to be a good role model for her and like um represent like a healthy relationship and partnership but also whoever i end up in a relationship with or end up being married to i am bringing that person into our lives right so i need to be a hundred thousand percent sure that this person is going to be adding to us and not removing from us is going to be able to accept and love and cherish our little family that we've got going on here so even though i'm not completely opposed to going on a day or two during the summer but i'm also going to be maintaining my high standards because it's so easy to destroy than it is to build so i'm being very intentional when it comes to dating men relationships because healing is generational wealth i'm not talking just tangible wealth i'm talking wealth that i'm going to pass on to my daughter and my grandchildren and so on and so on a lot of people are usually on mental vacation during summer they feel like you know during winter spring and other seasons that's when they're really hustling and like really working hard especially at the beginning of the year when people have like uh new year's resolutions they'll just set their goals and you know they're really in that like hustle mindset when it comes to summer a lot of people just want to like chill out have fun go out and do all the things okay but i just feel like money i feel make okay <laughs> um so with me it's not that i'm not going to enjoy my summer and i'm not going to live my best life it's being strategic with it having systems in place so that you don't have to work as hard so i think that whilst everybody else is on a mental vacation right it's the perfect time to actually start planting your seeds so if you're looking to launch a product or a service and you know that you're probably going to be launching it in october november then this is the time to actually start creating that product and you know creating the, the systems in place we're working on your your sales funnel your your marketing and doing all the behind the scenes work instead of waiting until someone's over then you're rushing and you don't have enough time to actually do what you need to do things are more likely to be more organized you're gonna have the end result that you actually want because you've taken your time you're not rushing and with most things in life there needs to be a fine balance right you can still have a good time you can still live your best life whilst also incorporating work within that so you just have to find the right balance for yourself and be able to invest the time in everything that you want to do it's easy to just switch off and like disconnect from everything that you want to do but life does not stop life in okay and when you have a vision a long-term vision and a plan knowing exactly what you need to be doing and when you need to do it is so important if you follow me on instagram many of my stories then you know that i've been on my gazillion the weight loss journey i have been intermittent fasting i also started alternate day fasting i wasn't eating carbs for like a couple months everyone does this when we're approaching summer right like the gym members 
memberships probably go up you know home workouts and all the kind of stuff because everybody wants to look good for summer but it was just so disheartening that with all that work that i didn't see the result that i was hoping for i didn't measure myself before or after but you know you can just tell when like you're trying on clothes and that kind of stuff and you look in the mirror that they hasn't been that change so for a hot minute i was kind of like upset and like you know disheartened like oh, i'm gonna go on holiday and i'm not really comfortable like in this body i would have wanted to look like a b c d and then i saw this reel actually on instagram i might put it here and this girl was saying like this is my body for the summer you're going to be seeing this body in the summer i'm going to be loving it and i'm still going to be having the best time and it just resonated with me in that moment to say okay this is the body that i have and i just need to and that really resonated with me because i just thought like well this is this is what i have okay i don't have you know this kind of body and i haven't accomplished my goal weight but we can still be cute as long as you know what looks good on you as long as you dress flatteringly flattering really is that a word <laughs> dressing clothes that you know accentuate your shape and just make you look good and feel your best it doesn't matter i have been feeling 10 out of 10 on this trip she still has shape she still looks good in clothes i think we put a lot of pressure on ourselves to look a certain way by a certain time frame which sometimes it is possible it is doable if you are consistent and you put in the hard work because to be fair i wasn't really exercising so maybe that would have helped as well um but even if you don't reach that goal in that time okay it doesn't mean that now you can't enjoy someone it doesn't mean that now you can't go on that holiday now you can't go to that pool party or now you can't go to all these events that you're planning on going because your body doesn't look the way that you wanted it to look okay love yourself for who you are now you can continue to strive to look your best and lose weight and do all the things but for the moment okay you are still that girl right you are still flying no matter what you're wearing you just have to be comfortable in your own skin and accept yourself for who you are today so that you can appreciate and love yourself for who you're going to be in your future nothing says rich woman summer than a vibrant signature scent so currently i am loving i'm probably going to butcher the name perfumes de mali and it is delina la rose oh i love this now this is actually quite more oriental that i'm used to like i usually like an oudi uh patchouli amber uh, bergamot kind of vibe i think it does have some of those notes in there but it's also giving me a bit of oriental which i don't know also says like summer okay i'm absolutely loving that and i'm layering it with the creed royal princess oud I'm obsessed with this as you can tell I've used this up I need to get another one and actually a bigger bottle I bought a, a 30 ml because I wasn't too sure but I am sold I absolutely love it and then I'm also adding um which I've you know been using up okay Kayali I think this is the apple one as well I always add a base of a oud perfume oil no matter what I'm wearing okay so that's my current signature scent now i just try out different scents like different layerings because i've got a large perfume collection i just love playing around like with different scents so this uh, layering combination was just literally um an experiment but i have been loving it and one thing i love about layering quick side note is that it's quite a distinct like signature scent no one will ever be like oh that's that scent or is that scent because you're adding different scents so it's much more of a signature like it's just you oh i've been using new body scrub you guys when i tell you that this body scrub is everything okay it makes my skin so soft and i smell mwah, edible and dare i say it is my favorite one it's better than the original one because when you rub it together it creates heat so it just feels so good when i'm actually using it and my skin just feels ah oh, so soft so luscious I am obsessed. And when it comes to makeup, my makeup is always relatively the same. I go for like a neutral, natural beat. But this summer, I'm going to be doing more of like a dewy kind of look. I kind of tried to do that today. I'm not sure if you guys can see on the camera. I have been using JLo Beauty's, um, what is it called? That star filter. I watched 
I am Shelly's um, summer makeup video last year and I bought this last year and I just love it. It just makes your skin just look extra dewy, like it's glowing, but like in a natural way, like not in like an extra way where you're like shining. For most days of summer, I'm just gonna be using this as my foundation and then just using concealer, just to have that no makeup makeup look. Speaking of no makeup skincare, I can't stress enough you guys that I spend majority of my time with no makeup. So maintaining my skin is so important to me. I had the most simplest of skincare routines. I have been adding new bits here and there when it comes to my cleansers. I've got like a pixie double cleanser. I've also got like a pixie toner, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. I will link those down below. But aside from that, my skincare routine is very simple because I'm a busy mom, a busy woman, okay? Things I gotta do. So I haven't got time for like a one hour or 30 minute skincare routine mm -mm, get somebody else to do it but nonetheless i want to look and feel as good as i do when i have makeup on i want to feel just as confident and not use makeup as some kind of crutch to be honest i've never actually done that but the order that you get you do have to put more work when it comes to your skin and most things you really need to like maintain it and make it look good which is why i have been more consistent with using face masks and like eye masks because under my eyes those bags under my eyes child starting to come out so so yeah putting in a bit more work this summer when it comes to my skin just to kind of maintain that natural glow you know this next one is more of a hack for my curvy babes okay uh, on my way to kenya we were at the airport and we went into boot and i bought baby powder and i was with debbie at the time and she was like why are you getting um baby powder and i was like for my thighs okay thick thighs and she was like what really i said yes baby powder removes the friction and the chafing that happens during summer and it just makes it more smoother and more comfortable so if you're a curvy babe don't say i didn't put you on okay even if you're not curvy babe and you just want to feel fresher because i actually use it in my armpits as well because i don't know just makes me feel more refreshed and not as sticky as well so that's a hack for the girl even though i'm a youtuber and i talk to you guys like you're sitting right in front of me i'm an introvert masquerading as an extrovert and i get really really shy like here at this event for example it took me like a couple days for me to warm up and like to break out from my little comfort group like people who i've known previously and actually start talking to people from like different countries because these people from america people from nigeria south africa canada um so it's a perfect way to network and meet new people and you know hear more experiences and once i started doing that like i've met so many amazing people so many talented uh, content creators i've been so inspired it's just lit uh, an even bigger fire inside of me so i'm so happy that i've managed to step outside of my comfort zone because if i didn't do that i'd have regretted it like i've come all this way like eight eight nine hour flight and i haven't made the most of it i'm going to be doing more new experiences things that scare me things that are outside of my comfort zone and things that i've always thought like this is kind of cute i'd want to do this but just never get around to it because i'm just not being as intentional about it but this year mm, we're not doing that okay so i've actually made plans and scheduled and all that kind of stuff for different things that i want to do i bought a picnic basket in 2020 during covid and never got around to actually having a picnic just have like a cute um summer dress and like you know some wine some cheese and all that kind of stuff i even want to go to the polo there is like an african polo happening here not here because i'm in kenya happening in london in june or july um which i'm gonna buy a ticket for um in a day or two so i'm super excited for that what else oh yeah i have been accepting invitations because like i'm a content creator and stuff like i get sent a lot, a lot of emails from people like do you want to come to this event do you want to come to that event and um, because i don't live like centrally like in london london i live close to london and most events happen in london i'm always like oh, i can't be bothered to like travel i'm always thinking about like how i'm gonna get there am i gonna drive where i'm gonna park and 
I literally overthink things and I talk myself out of not going, which is not great for networking. Like, you know, it's well and good having like virtual networking sessions, but there's just something about having a face-to-face -face conversation to somebody where, you know, they're putting their face to the name and like all that kind of stuff. So I've been accepting more networking event invitations. I'm making a summer bucket list of all the things that I want to do. I have a few things on there already, but I want to be inspired Inspired. so let me know what you guys are going to be doing this summer or what you want to do this summer or maybe the things that you have done previously that have been cool exciting fun i don't think i mentioned this in videos as much as i need to but if you guys have any suggestions of what kind of content you want to see from me just make a comment down below okay because i can just add that on my little content calendar and bring it out for you guys don't forget to like this video come all this way thank you so much subscribe to the channel press the notification bell so you do not miss on any upcoming videos make sure you watch this video because it's also going to give you all the summer vibes i will see you in my next video Mwah. bye lovelies and yes we'll be back in the uk when you see the next video Mwah. bye